Imagine your child developing normally until the age of three years of age, and then suddenly all of the language and communication skills that that child had learned were ripped away from that child, and they were essentially locked within their own minds. That's what autism is. It's devastating. Um, you watch a child go from being a perfectly healthy, happy child to someone who doesn't even know what a sunrise or a sunset is in the, in the very serious forms of autism, who can't communicate, who doesn't speak, but still wants to hug you every day. The most disturbing fact about autism is that the number of children affected seems to be growing rapidly. Studies by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control indicate that 10 years ago, the incidence of autism in American children was 1 in 10,000. By 2002, that number had risen to as many as 1 in 166, a 100-fold increase. Dr. Susan Stevens, like other autism specialists, doesn't know whether the affliction is something kids are born with or if it happens to them because of something in the environment. And until we understand the basic biology and genetics of the disease, I don't think we're going to be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together and understand what some of those environmental factors uh, may be. Telephone. What's he doing on the telephone? Talking. Talking. Karen London, mother of an autistic child, founded the National the Alliance for Autism right. Research, or NAR, because she felt that not enough was being done. I realized when he was five and six years old, after having gotten a diagnosis when he was almost two, that nothing had happened. There was no scientists really in dedicating their lives. They were just so few and far between that the research was way behind where it should have been. NAR is now funding the largest autism study ever undertaken, involving 170 top autism researchers from around the world. Breakthrough semiconductor chip technology will be used to analyze the DNA of autistic individuals and their families, a total of 6,000 people, searching for the genetic mutations that may be contributing to this disease. Unless you look at the DNA, the blueprint of life, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to find the causes of the, uh, complex diseases like autism. Our DNA, also known as the human genome, is made up of only four molecules, thymine, adenine, guanine, and cytosine. These four elements form a chain known as the double helix, which is more than three billion molecules long. Each person's DNA is more than 99% identical to everyone else's, but it is that tiny fraction which is not identical, individual links in this chain that are different from the norm, that account for the differences we see in any two people. Differences that can contribute to diseases like autism. The Affymetrix Gene Chip Microarray can scan for more than 10,000 of these differences in the DNA of the people in the study. That's much more than was ever possible before. If researchers see that they share certain genetic differences from people without autism, it tells them where to begin looking for the cause of the affliction. This technology is a breakthrough technology from Affymetrix. It marries the manufacturing principles of semiconductor technology with biotechnology. It allows us to look at the vast information complexity of the human genome on a single chip. It means we can look at diseases such as autism and actually try to find now the root causes across the human genome. NAR researchers hope to report initial results in their search for the cause of autism later this year. Hello, triangle. Okay, we'll make a triangle.